Okay, I will apply that one to here and just focus on that, okay? Because this is has some edge going on here and this is much uh, simpler to focus on that. So we see if I again control and uh, shift, we're just focusing on this part. You see that this connected to the Wii wheel. We see. So grab those. As you, you see here, as I grab this one, how it affects. So like that. And this is for inside. If I cancel it, you see that this will go outside, inside and outside. So, okay. So next is that we come here and play around with this value, with this handle as well here. Actually, if we, if we press here, Control and Shift, we see that this noise texture with this ramp, they are working like that, like, like that. If I come here and bump it up to 10, you see much more and five and maybe two and maybe 20. You see how it's effect. Okay, so 10 is a minimal normal. So I will use that and this is for uh, detail. You see how it is spread like a distortion so five is mm, good and here is roughness look at what will happen if i play around with the roughness see it will get everything rough on zero and make crazy thing i think the half is very good so this is the distortion, you see it will distort everything with no one use that. Okay. And for the color, that's perfect right now. And now the ambient occlusion. Control and shift, click on that. We will we will see the effect of these three. So samples is samples. 16 is okay. And you see that this is inside, it will affect the um, ambient occlusion in here and inside. And you see, so keep that in mind. And lastly, is here. This is just a converter because we couldn't connect those just by this inverter so now this is its effect we are just affecting inside of this cube okay so if you want to adjust the outside so therefore we can add create those grab those and shift the and make a duplication of that so that we can use uh, both inside and outside so I just set it on inside okay come here and apply and I'm playing just a little bit with our um, with our material so what if I select that and set it on a white okay on a white and this one as well on a white but or maybe a reddish and this one the color is up to you how you want to use those okay guys nobody will say or oh, do that like that but something that is 
more interesting for people and even for your own school what you like to see so that's it okay All I can do is come here and add that a little bit greenish tongue. Okay. And as well here, a bit like that. So now I can take a duplication of this one by Shifty and set it here. And I want to this is control inside okay this control inside so we can you see that how it controls this is for edge right now this is for edge so we can press select that and press f2 to rename that so we can uh, rename that edge tightness and uh, change color okay for the upper part and this one you see that it affects the width so we said that a H with now grab all those uh, come here first one thing you can do is node type node wrangler and just enable that that's because if you just con press ctrl and T it will apply texture coordinate and mapping and now you can control those later very well but in this case we don't want to set it on generated okay but object we want to set that on object mode you see the different object mode and generated so therefore we come and set the scale on five okay so uh, we can grab those shifty and put it right here and what we can do is that was for the upper for the inside uh, for the inside i can set or name that ao for inside okay and that one AR for outline okay or outside so now we can buy this one this is mix RGB and this is RGB connect those in each other and now we can uh, instead of that we click and we work on outside so and then this to note i want to mix with this this one okay with this one so what we can do is come here and mix that if you want to see the final output just click on that and uh, control and shift now we can set that on difference here so that we see both and now if you control that you see that you can get both at the same time this red color doesn't match this um, greenish so we can change that 
Wait. Green. Like that to a maybe a darker green. Like a real military tank. Now I think that's looking good. So now we have this one, this material, and this is a procedural you can tweak whenever you want. So, uh, and we can rename that tank material, okay? Or tank material. And numpad slash, and I will hide that one hide or maybe delete oh my god what happened just we have it right here so don't worry and just delete that so now we can apply that one on all of our our object this yellow one is our active object Okay, now you see that this one, this is just working on cycle. Now, when you selected all of this object and the last, which is a yellow um, line around this body, selected as an active, so control and L, press control and L and link the material. And you see this cool effect right here, okay? And from here you can come and set it on generated maybe. This one is one object. Mm, pay attention, viewers very low so we can change this from here to a darker okay and as well this one to a darker and this is the edge We can play around with those. Set it maybe on a grungy. So we have to find this one. Yes, right here. And we we'll select that. So now you see that this is a procedural tank. And we can come here and just play around with the material. Okay, and as well here, set it on green. So just tweak until you get a better result. I think for my case, I need to adjust it a little bit more so guys this is the end of this uh, video and see you in the next